Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Smash Master Bing Chang with you today. And uh, I'm going to be casting friend Hackslayer. And uh, I don't know if you guys know by now, but Hackslayer is... I don't think he actually mentions his name here. But, uh, okay. So I'm going to play with some uh, music as well, like last time. And let's take a look now. So this is the song I'm going to play. Um, I'm not quite sure what the title is, actually. But uh, a friend of mine sent, sent this to me on Facebook. And, uh... Yeah, I promise to play it, so uh, I'm gonna try it out then. Okay, so he's playing against Alec, who is, I think, Alex Getz, if I remember correctly. And yes, maybe not. I think he's, I think pretty sure he's Alex Getz. But uh, yeah, so this opening is E45, then 396. This is interesting, right, Lopez? It's with the, uh, I think this is the Steins variation. So I'm, I don't really know anything about this this line, to be honest, but I do know that. Uh, White, I think in some cases he plays d5 here, or um, he can also take on e5 if he so chooses. But if queen on d8, I think he gets d5, and now it's knight b8, I think, because he wants him to actually take on d7. But I think that white, yeah, white doesn't actually take it because you don't want to develop the knight. Because you can see the knights on b8 is actually kind of uh, improperly placed. After c5, I think, c I'm not quite sure about c4, I think a4 is stronger. Yeah, see, I'm not quite sure about that. Maybe now a4 is a strong move, too. I think a4 here is, is good, anyway. But yeah, c4 definitely wasn't really required. I think a4 is stronger, because you want to be able to stop b5, and c4 doesn't want really to stop b5, because, I mean, black plays b5 anyway. If he takes the pawn, then a takes b5. But if you play a4, then if he plays b5, you can just, just take him b5. Yeah, but a3, okay, I guess I guess it's an interesting move. Um, so I think uh, b4 is probably going to be played, too. If I uh, understand this correctly, and someone shot me, and decline that. Alright, so after knight c3, I think uh, very simple option just cast king side. Um, what to do here? So, okay, so what's plan should be to do something with king side. So I believe that b4 is probably going to be a move that uh, white should play at some time. Maybe he can play bishop d3 first, just so uh, if he takes a pawn c4. He can take back, and also Bishop D3 uh, threatens, threatens to take on B5 as well. So uh, I think uh, White has the no key position here, and Black's attack, well, Black's gonna play at 5 at some point, H5 at 5, but I think it might not be too, too, too fast. Okay, so B4 melee, I'm not quite sure about B4 melee. So I think you can just take on B4, and it takes B4. And uh, the music, this, this song's actually very soothing. I think I might just, uh, listen to this when I go to bed today. It's, having trouble going to bed and uh, sleeping, so maybe I'll try something else other than like sleeping pills, because that's what I've been using li lately. But uh, yeah, so like, I'm not, see this one I'm not sure about b4 because you can have rook c8 now, even though you don't have bishop b5, I think something like rook a7 is an interesting move, rook a7 is very interesting. The idea of rook a7 is that if he takes on c4, yeah, so you can play rook, to, rook c7. Yeah, so this is exactly what I was thinking of Rook E7. Also, Black can play Bishop E5 now. So I think White actually has to take on C4. And yeah, this is actually a very interesting move. Um, in this case, I believe that White should take on C4 anyway, because I don't think that Black can do anything about this. So after taking on C4, I think um, Black's gonna play Rook C7, then Bishop D3, and I think Black has an option to play Bishop B5 if he wants to. But I believe, um, I believe Black's probably slightly, still slightly worse. Because this pawn might be weak, and also the c6 square can be penetrated on. It's, uh, it's a very dangerous square f for white, and you can get that c6. So, yeah, I definitely think that white should take on c4. I'm not quite sure what else to think of, because he really doesn't have any other choice. Um, so, um, for the song, actually, I don't really know much about song. My friend posted on my wall on Facebook, as I, as I said. And uh, I listened to a couple times, I thought, you know, this is a pretty good song, so might as well play it out. So yeah, here's the song, hope you guys enjoy it, and I definitely will post the link. If you guys want me to do more classical music, uh, give me some, I guess, suggestions, because I'm not a classical music guy. I'm more into, like, the modern type of music, well, top 40 hits or something, top, top 40 pop. So yeah, this has definitely changed, it's really interesting stuff. Yeah, this is like the melody here, and this goes up and down. Can't really describe it properly because I really have no idea what I'm talking about, but um, it's, it's 
kind of cool. But uh, yeah, so in, in this position, I think that uh, Black doesn't have many options actually. Because Bishop b5 doesn't quite work too well. Because then just knight 6 b5, 8 6 b5, and then knight 5 <coughs> Damn. Yeah, so if you play Bishop b5, and I'm going to take this guy and put him down at a5, then my c6 square is going to be really weak for Black, and also my b5 pawn. Black's b5 pawn is going to be hanging. So, uh, Black is in some some, some trouble here because I think White's next in a couple moves. It's gonna be knight e4 and then b6. Or just bishop d2 right away. Bishop d2. Bishop d2. Uh, bishop d2 would see one kind of thing. Uh, maybe not bishop d2. I think uh, White can go something faster. So let's try, um, hmm. Let's try knight, yeah, knight e4 melee. Okay. So I think that Black's just gonna take this guy. Go, well, if he doesn't take this guy, he can go. There you go. Now the a6 pawn is going to be weak, so um, this is still going to be a uh, kind of trick here. So I think that uh, white should play bishop e3 here, bishop e3, just basically guarding this square on b6. Because right now blocks for third advantage to play knight b6. Kind of. Kind of. No, I guess not exactly. But uh, yeah, I think bishop e3 is, is fairly strong. But uh, black does definitely has major problems here, and uh, not quite sure how he's going to solve them. So after rook b7, bishop d2, yep. Yeah. Buck the pawn, okay, knight b6, knight a5, I would say. There you go, queen, rook c7, and uh, this is actually a very smart realignment for uh, Black. He's basically getting his knight b6, and he moved this knight to d7. But unfortunately, I think Black White has bishop takes h6. So yeah, this doesn't really um, trouble White at all, and White still has a very strong position here. Yeah, he actually can't move his knight, this is, uh, this is very unfortunate, he can't move his knight. Um, now, now White just has to play carefully, probably, like rook c1. I would tra trade rooks here, because, uh, I mean, the only thing that Black has is the open c file, right? If you take away the open c file, then it's over. In this position, um, I really want to take an f5, but I think you can play e4, so, uh, yeah, exactly, right? I'm, I like, I mean, this is, this is, like, fairly obvious. This is really the only idea that, uh, Black had. I mean, play f5, take on f5, e4. Rook c1 would maintain a solid edge. Now I think that Black does have some major compensation here, and I'm not quite sure if, that, if, it's, if it's actually enough for White. I mean, yeah, White has some compensation here, but I'm not sure if it's enough. So I think the song ended here, and um, I guess for the rest of the game, I'll just be talking without any help from uh, my audio music. So this song is about 7 minutes long. As, as you can see, this uh, game went on longer than 7 minutes, so that's why uh, it was over. After uh, 9f6, I think Black wants White to play in bishop g5, but then White's, Black's going to play queen e5. Uh, queen e5 looks fairly strong. Let's see here, what what, what else? Uh, yeah, queen e5 lo looks good. So I think that White has to play like rook e1 or rook f1. Um, it's not it's not the best position. This is a sub comp, but I think that White's just going to lose this game relatively uh, quickly. And uh, that that's kind, of, that's kind of too bad because you had a very strong position there. Yeah, so rookie one now after taking on f5, okay. And uh, I mean, White has no no choice. He has to go like bishop d3 or bishop b1. Bishop b1 is probably stronger. Uh, bishop d3, bishop b1. So the idea is if he takes this queen, then rook takes and knight takes d5, then bishop a2, and you got pin on the knight. But now you don't really have a pin, but you do have the f5 pawn. So. White does have competition still, so after and it takes uh, e5, queen takes e5, pawn takes e5, bishop takes f5. And this does give him some competition still. So bishop takes f5, and uh, rook c5, yeah, there you go, rook c5, maybe bishop e6 check. <coughs> Sorry, uh, bishop e6 check, maybe bishop f4. Bishop f4, um, yeah, blocks. white's just running out of time right now. But, oh wow, that was, that was like a big lag there. So, okay, I'm assuming he was like basically long time, because that's <laughs> that's the only way that, that should happen. But, uh, okay. So, oh wow, my, uh, my computer lags a lot. So fortunately, this is what happens when you lag. And that's why I didn't want to cast myself, because uh, my internet on residence is really, really awful. So as you can see, the time is just going crazy here. And uh, I guess we'll just see like what's going to happen. But... Uh, I mean, he has 2.4 seconds left. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty much over. And I think he just resigned here. Yeah, that, that was too bad though. That was a uh, that was a nice play game game for White until he basically blundered with taking that five. I mean, that's pretty much the only thing that you can't do. You can't even counterplay. 
pretty, it's pretty obvious, uh, it's pretty obvious idea. I'm surprised that it's a uh, white Valfort. I mean, this is really the only move that Black had, going for this e4 idea. If he had went for, like I said, this is a critical position. If he had went for, like, rook c1, then this would have been, like, fantastic. This is probably a plus one, maybe, for for white. Plus one is in up a pawn, because black really has nothing to do, and this pawn's gonna be dropping, and... Yeah, this is a great, great position, but it was too bad that he, he messed it up. But, uh, yeah, that's that, that's the end of the game, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we'll come back to you next time. Thank you very much, and bye-bye.